Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with Persona 5 Royal game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to set priority to high in task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. Now make sure the game is running first. So launch the game first. The step is applicable for both Xbox Game Pass user and Steam user. So even if you bought the game from Steam, you can try this step. So first of all, launch the game. Now once you launch the game, now open Task Manager. So make a right click on the Start menu and then click on Task Manager. And then over here, select Persona 5 Royal game and then make a right click then click on Expand or you can simply expand this Persona 5 Royal and select this P5REXE5 and then make a right click and then click on go to details or simply you can go to details tab over here click on details tab and then find the P5REXE folder and then make a right click and then select set priority and then select high over here and then click on change priority and then check now still you are facing the problem then launch task manager now again make a right click on the start menu and then open task manager now again go to the details tab and find the game exe file so make a right click on the game exe file over here and then click on set affinity and over here you uncheck all cores and select the first two so uncheck all the cores and then select this cpu 0 cpu 1 and then click on ok and now go back to the game and once you go to the game wait for some time so maybe wait for few seconds in the game now, now after few seconds go back now after few seconds go back over here come back to task manager make a right click and then click on set affinity and this time select all codes and then click on ok and this should improve the FPS in the game. Now, still you are facing the problem. Turn off VSync in the game. So, go to the game. Now, go to config. Now, go to display settings. Now over here, select window mode. So if this is set to full screen, select window mode. And then if this is set to 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down mode and turn off VSync. If so, if VSync is on, turn it off. Now apply the settings. Now once you apply, go to graphics settings. Now if graphic quality is set to high, you can try middle or you can even go low and then apply the settings. Now check the performance. Now the next step is to turn VSync off in the game. So make sure VSync is off in the game. So go to config, display setting make sure vsync is off now once you turn off the vsync now launch nvidia control panel so let me close the game so you have to turn vsync off in the game and force vsync in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop then launch nvidia control panel now go to manage 3d settings now go to program settings now click on add over here now over here find persona 5 game so select Persona 5 Royal game. Now 
if you don't see Persona 5 in the list, you can click on Browse and go to the Game Installation folder and then select the Game EXE file. Now click on Add Selected Program. Now select High Performance NVIDIA Processor and scroll down over here. You can see Vertical Sync. If Vertical, vertical Sync is off, you can turn it on. So turn on Vertical Sync in NVIDIA Control Panel and then click on Apply. Now launch the game and make sure vsync is off in game and enabled in nvidia control panel now this has worked for many players so it might work for you next we should do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to update the game so go to steam go to library and then make a right click on persona 5 games and this is just an example i have the game on xbox app i don't have the game on steam so this is just an example so make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to updates tab and make sure always keep this game updated it is selected over here and then update your game if there is any update next step is to computer with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings go to the game installation folder over here click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive open in program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the persona 5 royal folder in my case the game is installed the game is installed from xbox app so i don't have the game on steam so for xbox game pass user click on browse now for xbox game pass user select microsoft store app over here and then select persona 5 now click on add now in my case the game is already added over here so once the game is added click on the game then click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator now to run the game as an administrator for xbox game pass user over here you can see persona 5 make a right click over here on the game make a right click on the game and then click on create desktop shortcut and then go to desktop make a right click on persona 5 royal and then click on run as administrator now for steam users you can make a right click on the game this is just an example make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files this will straight away take you to the game installation folder go to the game installation folder and then so let me show you with another game so you have to make a right click on persona 5 royal game and then select the game exe file persona 5 exe file and then select prop make a right click and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok now launch the game now the next step is to update windows this is important make sure that your windows is up to date go to update and security or windows update then click on check for update once the update is installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file for steam users make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game for xbox game pass user make a right click on the game and then click on manage now click on files and then click on verify and repair and then click on yes and now launch the game now 
Now the next step is to disable Steam overlay and other overlay application. Now for Steam users, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So uncheck this box. Also if you have other overlay application running, so if you have Discord running, close Discord. If you have GeForce Experience running, close GeForce Experience. Now if you have AMD overlay, enable disable AMD overlay. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner running, close MSI Afterburner. If you have Revertuner running, close Revertuner. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug controller and the USB dongle. So if this is connected, unplug it. If you want to use the controller, then unplug the controller, launch the game and then connect the controller. Disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor. Unplug all the USB devices which you are not using. Also unplug these devices. If you have these devices, if, if you have these software running in the computer, so close these software. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running or only the Xbox app and the game is running. Also remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your hardware, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to improve the FPS with the game. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.